Hi guys, this is Ratchetro and we are playing FIFA 22. In this video, I'm gonna be experimenting a little bit by placing my team in 4-3-3 formation with my new player Detobas being in the center of attack and having one cent central attacking midfielder and we'll see how it's gonna go. So, let's get in. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from the foot squad battles. It's Dinamo against the Blades. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the first 11 for Dinamo. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Luka Modric plays with Dani Parejo in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And a look at the starting 11 for Blades. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Freddy Ljungberg in the wide areas and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. Marcos Acuna. The ball with Luka Modric. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Parejo! Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Excellent challenge. Tony Kroos. And Carvajal untidy in possession there. Aidan Azar. Went in strongly to win the ball. A special occasion merits a special mention. 200 appearances for the club as of today. And Stewart, he deserves all the plaudits. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Not the worst free kick in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. Virgil van Dijk. What can the Blades do from this position? And the snuffing out of the cross there. A good and fair challenge. Modric losing possession a bit easily. Running room in the wide position. Blade into the box. Well, he seemed to catch it on the wrong part of his head. Yeah. 
And the attack looks promising. Parejo, an authoritative challenge. Messi. A oh, super piece of play. Aidan Azar waiting to pounce. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. Marquinhos. This is Kroos. Aidan Azar. And they find a gap in the defence. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Eder Militao. Munyain. And given away by Dinamo. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's been little between these two teams. It's been a really tight and cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little and that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. They might be able to get in now. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Pele. Lukaku in position. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Gomez. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Messi. A creative look about this. Oh, great play. Great block by Alaba on the back of that cross. Parejo. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Canales! Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Messi. Well-timed tackle. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Aidan Azar. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Can they forge ahead? Routine, really. Lukaku, well nicely cut out, now what can they do with the ball? Lukaku, oh he couldn't outwit the keeper.
A real struggle to contain him. Look at Modric. And he's clear his lines. Aiden Azar. Here's Jean-Saul Martins. Certainly options available as far as the blades are concerned. And keeping it out. And time for the change now. Messi with the corner. Cleared away comprehensively. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Not the best clearance. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Pele. Freddy Ljungberg. But he's got past his man. Good looking cross. And they deal with the threat this time. Muniain. No chance for him to get in behind, maybe. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. Gelson Martins. Very quick thinking there. There to win it back. See some progress with the ball at his feet. And just like that, Lionel Messi has scored. The first goal was always going to be important. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. He just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Attacking possibilities for the Blades. Chance to play it in. And the substitution will occur now. Also Martins. They've won back possession. A potential danger here. And crossed in there. Well, goal kick just as it was looking promising. Messi Aiden Azar and that will be the goalkeeper's ball and into the last 15 minutes of action really good interception going well and now passing it through what a save Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Really good attacking play. A real opening now. Brilliant save. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Magnificent challenge to win it back. We're being pressed here. And the referee takes exception.
Open to the challenge, free kick. So making the substitution now. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Can he convert? Well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps them in it. They couldn't maintain possession. Gelson Martins. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, great read there to intercept. Messi. Here's Gelson Martins. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Really good high press. He could pick out a teammate. Well, thumped clear. Aiden Azar. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis it's Stuart Robson and what we have coming up for you is foot rivals action. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in the... Opportunity! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! And the lineup for the home side. Albon Lafont is the goalkeeper. Timo Werner starts with Wilfred Zaha out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And here's the first 11 for Dinamo. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Marcos Acuna plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Dani Parejo starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal. Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. He can't hold on to it. Griezmann. Can he open them up here? A very effective clearance. Excellent defending. Wilfried Zaha. And do they mean business on this occasion? 
but nothing comes of it good defending it was in the right place to cut out the pass and he's beaten him here and struggling to get the shot off put it just a free fraction wide of the post Parejo. Here's Marcos Acuna. De Tomas. Marcos Acuna. Onto Munyain. Marcos Acuna. Crossing into the middle. Not messing around with that clearance. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. And back underway. 1-0 it is. I must say, this looks promising. And space to cross it. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Really a very poor ball. Eder Militao. It's with De Tomas. Parejo. Griezmann. A gift for any goalkeeper. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Well, couldn't keep it in. Alaba failed to hold it. This could square the game, but the keeper has a say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Chance, maybe. Well, threat averted. And they do like to press whenever they can. Muniain. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And the cross goes in. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Jesus. Running with the ball confidently. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Gonna get a try. Superb block. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. De Bruyne. Nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Now well, they've given him too much space. 
Alaba puts his body on the line. Brilliantly blocked. De Tomas. Griezmann. Firing it in. Body in the way. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. A very good tackle. Griezmann. Griezmann! They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. So 2-0 now. He read the situation defensively and did his job. De Tomas and given away by Dinamo definitely look as though they want to make this move count well goal kick just as it was looking promising Modric this is Alaba. The ball with Luka Modric. Opportunity, De Tomas. Still a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Oh, surely. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. <laughs> so the corner played into the box. And you need your defender to take charge. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. He goes short. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Well cleared away. Wilfried Zaha. Effective challenge. A really top-notch piece of defending. And De Bruyne in a useful-looking position, but will there be an end product? That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. What? He needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Thirty minutes left for. 